Hello you guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I said that so giddy. <laughs> I've developed this like Canadian accent over the past couple of weeks and I feel like my camera is kind of crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. In today's video, we are celebrating one year officially of being on YouTube. One full year. 365 days of being on YouTube. Happy birthday to my channel. Happy birthday. Cheese. So it's actually Sunday right now and the actual anniversary of my YouTube channel is tomorrow on Monday the 29th, but I upload on Sundays and I figured it was close enough. So for today's video, we're going to be kind of looking at the past year on YouTube, going over some highlights and just like the best moments, kind of talking about all that stuff, the sentimental thank yous, everything, all of that kind of stuff. And then we'll also be kind of looking forward. I'll be giving you guys kind of a preview into what's next, what's coming, what the next 365 days on YouTube are going to look like for me and all of that stuff. So let's just get into it. If this is the first video that you're seeing, hi, I'm Charlotte. Welcome to my channel. This is actually kind of a perfect video for you guys to jump in on if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing because we're kind of going to be recapping all of the last videos that I've done. You don't really need to catch up. On anything you're kind of just jumping in at the perfect spot so if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing your first exposure to Maria and my channel welcome we're very happy to have you here like this video and subscribe down below if you are new or even if you're not new but if you're just not for some reason I don't know why you wouldn't be but like make sure you fix all that stuff down there like this video subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment because I love 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 chatting with you guys in the comments it's one of my absolute favorite things when I get a comment I get a little notification on my phone it's like somebody commented on your post I'm like oh so leave me a comment if you want to spark some joy in my soul <laughs> okay today is gonna be a little bit crazy and I'll explain to you guys why in a few minutes but I just wanted to first say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much to every single person who has ever interacted with me or my channel whether you have been a long time subscriber since this time last year or if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing whether you like comment just watch subscribe share my videos with your friends and family I really appreciate it more than I can tell and more than I can say um, and I don't want this to get all mushy and sappy so I'll just say thanks a million you guys are the best I am so so excited that I get to kind of like do this now as like a regular hobby YouTube has been always kind of like a dream of mine in the back of my head so I'm so so excited that it's actually something I get to do now regularly and that you guys are actually receiving my content well and that people are enjoying what I'm putting out so thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart that's all my thank yous that's all my sappiness um, I just wanted to get that out of the way make sure I am displaying the proper amount of gratitude because I really do appreciate it so so much this is like been the best part of the past year for me since basically all of 2020 and all of 2021 so far it's just been the greatest part so I just wanted to again say thank you guys so much I really really appreciate it and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for me and my channel and for all of us so Without any further ado or any more sappiness or anything else, before I start crying, honestly, let's take a look at the past year on YouTube, some of my favorite videos, some highlights, some stuff that I really just enjoyed, and like, let's just chat about the past year, honestly. Can you guys hear my brother yelling in the background? How do I tell how many videos I've uploaded? Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna be going over some basic stats, like how many videos I posted, how many subscribers, just in case anybody is curious. In the last year, I have posted 70 videos and I've gained 230 subscribers, which is absurd because let me tell you guys why. I started my channel thinking, let's just see where this goes. I started in March of 2020 and kind of just decided, let's see how this goes. At the end of 2020, kind of like November, I was at like the 75 subscriber-ish range, I think. And I made it my goal to hit 100 subscribers by the end of 2020. And I did. And that was amazing. So that's kind of a thank you. I made a blooper reel video. I will put that in the eye in the corner if you guys want to watch that. It's pretty fun. So then I kind of privately decided that my goal for 2021 was going to be 250 subscribers, thinking that that was going to be a real, real challenge. I was like, oh my goodness, I don't think, I don't even know if I'll reach that. But I'll set it as my goal because your goals should be stuff that you're reaching for, that you're striving for. It should, if, it, if you can reach it tomorrow, it's not really a great long-term goal, you know what I mean? So I thought, okay, I, I 
got 100 subscribers in nine months, so 150 more subscribers in 12 months, that's a little bit more, but I think I can do it. So I'll make my goal for 2021, 150, 250 subscribers, excuse me. We are at the end of March. We are three months in to 2021 and we're already at 230 subscribers. So we are 20 away from my goal for this entire year, which is just insane to me because I didn't think that it would go that quickly. So anyway, if you're a member of the 230 club at this point, thanks a bunch. I appreciate you. Like I already said, more than I can even say. Um, love you guys. And like I said, I've posted 70 videos at this point. And if you know anything about the calendar, you know that the week, the year is 52 weeks long. So that means that I averaged more than one video a week, which makes sense. Let's see how many. I average one and one third videos a week. <laughs> Basically what that means is for the first like long stretch on my channel. Basically the first six months from March to December I posted once a week on my YouTube channel every Sunday and I thought that was a really good way to start because I I mean, I didn't have a job last summer. Last summer is when I started. I didn't have a job, so I kind of wanted to dedicate my summer to learning how to do YouTube. And it worked out really well. And I was kind of playing with the idea of like, oh, well, maybe I should do two videos a week, but I didn't want to get burnt out. So I just stuck with one until we got to Christmas. And then I thought, okay, I'll just do Vlogmas, but I'll do my own kind of like my own version of Vlogmas. I ended up for Vlogmas posting every other day instead of every day. And that turned out really well. The videos I did were just kind of fun. I mean, they really were just vlogs. It's like, here's what I'm doing today. Um, and I actually had a lot of fun filming them, which is kind of what prompted me to get into more vlog style videos like days in my life, college days in my life, days in my life as an online college student, that kind of thing, my morning routine video. Um, and just doing that kind of more like vloggy, here's what my life looks like, kind of like a bird's eye view into my life, the life of Charlotte Pratt. And so like I said, Vlogmas was really what kind of pushed me into that vlogging mode. And it's been one of my favorite things ever, 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 ever. It's just so much fun. Vlogs are some of my favorite videos to watch ever when I watch YouTube and I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch Maddie Miller, Laura Norris, Keegan Acton, all of those lovely ladies. They do the best vlogs and I just kind of tried to model my vlogs off of theirs because those are the ones that I really enjoy watching and figured that if I enjoyed them then a lot of other, and I mean clearly a lot of other people do too, if I enjoyed watching them in their style then maybe people would enjoy watching my life in that similar style. So I took up that kind of style and it was just so much fun to play around with editing styles and music and just all of that kind of stuff. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things ever, ever, ever. <laughs> all right, you guys, so that is enough of the past. Looking back now, looking forward to the next year, two years, whoever knows, who knows, whoever, who knows how long. I just had a stroke I'm trying to say that sentence. So really quick, you guys may have noticed that I dropped down to only posting once a week. Again, for the first few months of the year, I posted twice a week. I did Thursdays and Sundays. I'm not doing that anymore for a little bit. I will go back to doing that. Um, but right now I'm just going to be posting once a week just because there's some stuff going on in my family. Nothing serious, nothing bad. Everything's cool. But the way it's just going on in my family right now, things have been a little bit crazy. And I haven't had the time or the energy, frankly, to edit two videos a week or film two videos a week. I'll let you in on a little secret. My life has been incredibly boring recently. So it's not like I'm withholding anything. I'm just not doing anything camera worthy. <laughs> so that is kind of why we're dropping down to one video a week, but just for a little while, once things kind of calm down and go back to a little bit more normal, then we will be going back to the two videos a week. And hopefully just like once my life gets kind of interesting again, like right now my life is just really, really boring. <laughs> but once it gets interesting, 
but once it gets interesting again, then we will go be going back to two uploads a week. Oh my goodness, I have a stroke trying to say these sentences. So that is what's going on with the upload schedule. Currently, the upload schedule probably for the next few weeks is going to be every Sunday. Just one video every Sunday, which is how I started. So like you're basically getting the same amount as what you have been getting. So yay for content, yay for posting consistently. <laughs> Second order of business, after I just said that I'll be posting consistently, I'm actually gonna be taking a week off. <laughs> I have been posting consistently every week for a year. I haven't missed a week this year. I posted at least one video every week for the past year. For some weeks, I posted two videos a week and during Vlogmas, I posted three or four videos a week. So. I'm not burnt out or anything. I am actually, I wish I could be doing more. I have just been so bored with only doing the one video, but like I said, things in my family and things where I live right now have been getting kind of bad again. So uh, we're all kind of just being extra cautious and that there's not a lot of content in that. There's not really anything exciting going on. So there's not really anything to vlog and I don't really want to be putting out videos that I'm not happy with and that I'm not excited about. Like if I don't want to watch my own video, I don't think anyone else would want to watch my own video. So you know what I mean? So I will be taking next week off, but then I will be back the week after that. I'm just taking a week off just so I don't feel like I'm putting out videos for the sake of putting out videos. I want to put out videos because I'm excited to put them out. So next week, the first weekend in April, let me give you some dates. Today's video is going out on Sunday, March 28th. Next week, Sunday, March 4th, there will be no video from me. I don't think. I will be back by Sunday, April 11th. So I'm only gonna be gone for one video. Um, and I'm just doing this so I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to like make things interesting for camera. I try not to do that anyway, but sometimes when things get boring, it's like, okay, well, I'll save everything interesting that I have to do this week for the day that I'm vlogging, and I just don't want to have to worry about that. I'm also on school vacation this week, so I'm not even in classes. I can't even do a college day in my life if I wanted to because I'm, I'm on a break from college. We're in spring break right now, so everything is just kind of lining up. I'm taking a week off. Everything's fine. But like I said, I will be back on April 11th, so not to worry, catch up on all your favorite other YouTubers <laughs> while you're waiting for my return. And finally, for the kind of last segment of this video, I just wanted to talk about what kinds of videos you guys wanna see in the future. I have some ideas going forward. I'm working on something really, really big right now, actually. So there will be a lot of content surrounding that. I can't actually tell you what it is right now because I don't have all the information, but I'm working on a big project. I actually hate it when people say that, but I kind of feel like, ooh, I'm official saying that. But anyway, I am working on something really big right now in my personal life. It's not just for YouTube, it's for my personal life. So um, that's also kind of something about it is like, I need to get everything sorted in my personal life before I can put it out on the internet. But once it's all sorted, I will have multiple videos about it for you guys. And I'm so, so excited for that. So that will be coming probably in the next month or two. So something to look forward to and be excited about. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for that huge project that I'm sure everyone is getting really amped about, if you guys could do me, do me a solid, do me a favor, leave a comment on this video. Anything at all that you wanna see on my channel. I've gotten some comments already that sound so fun. One of my followers commented that she would like to see a Target challenge where you go into Target with a certain set amount of money and you're only allowed to spend, like say you're only allowed to spend $15 at Target and you see everything that you can get at Target for $15. I thought that video sounded so, so much fun. So once everything kind of calms down with, you know, the panoramic, <laughs> I will be able to do that video again, or that video, videos like that, if literally anything that you guys want to see. I'm not attached to any certain style, I'm not attached to any certain theme, literally anything that you want to see me do on my channel, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you want to see on my channel and I will do my best to make it happen because I just love making videos that people want to see, you know? Like if you want to see it, I'll make it. I'll make it. So just let me know, leave me a comment down below, or you can message me on my Instagram, which is also linked down below. You should follow it because I'm going to be posting a lot more on my Instagram in this coming year than I did 
in the past year. So like I said, my Instagram is linked down below. Leave me a comment down below with any video suggestions. Like this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you are not. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel, like I've already said, and for watching this video. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for the best first year on YouTube ever, and I cannot wait to see where the future brings me and my channel. Oh, okay, that's enough talking. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, bye, bye.